The Ammonia Fountain and Lumino Attention! Ammonia is toxic if inhaled, can cause chemical burns of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract and is very toxic to aquatic life. Luminol can cause irritation of the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. Sodium carbonate can cause severe irritation of the eyes. Copper sulfate is toxic if swallowed, can cause irritation of the skin and eyes and is very toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects. Fluorescein can cause severe irritation of the eyes. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. In my last video about the ammonia fountain I showed a few ways to prepare this experiment. A famous effect that can be added is the chemiluminescence of luminol. For this two solutions were prepared. For the first one 2 grams of sodium carbonate and 0.1 grams of luminol were added to a beaker. Then 12 grams of sodium bicarbonate 0.25 grams of ammonium carbonate and 0.2 grams of copper to sulfate pentahydrate were added. Everything was dissolved in 250 milliliters of distilled water which was added in portions, but it could also be added all at once at the end. At the beginning the copper forms a precipitate which dissolves after a few minutes and by stirring occasionally. The second solution is made of 4.5 milliliters of 10% hydrogen peroxide and 250 milliliters of distilled water. 3% peroxide could also be used and diluted with distilled water to get the same concentration and volume. Then a flask with ammonia gas was prepared and a hose with a T-piece was connected to the pipette. The two hoses of the T-piece were submerged into the two solutions. This causes both solutions to be sucked into the flask at the same time. The lights were turned off and a bit of water was added on top of the flask to cool down the gas faster. Even after a few minutes the glow was visible to the naked eye. The color of the light can be changed by adding fluorescent dyes. So out of curiosity fluorescein was added which would lead to a green color of the emitted light. Only one of the solutions contained the dye which led to a contrast that made the movement in the resulting solution more visible. It was obvious that the glow didn't last as long as before. This may be due to the fact that the free acid of fluorescein was used instead of the sodium salt, which might have affected the pH value. For another variety, a 1 liter Schlenk flask was filled with ammonia and 10 milliliters of distilled water were added quickly. The stopcock was kept close.
By shaking the flask, a part of the ammonia dissolved in the water, which caused a low pressure. Between the flask and both solutions, an intensive cooler was connected. If the volume of the flask is large enough, more glassware could be added. Usually, the ammonia fountain is placed at the end, but I didn't have a fitting stop cork. The amount of the two solutions was multiplied by two. The lights were turned off and the stop cork of the flask was opened. The solution didn't reach the flask because it would have had to be larger. Unfortunately, I didn't have a larger one. In addition to that, the rest of the apparatus could have been filled with ammonia gas. This was the ammonia fountain and luminol. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know more about the ammonia fountain, you can watch my video about it here. Or you can watch my latest video here. A big thanks to my supporters on Patreon.